Hey, it's Filet, and you're watching Filet TV, the ultimate YouTube channel. I'm the center photographer, just a dude with a camera. All right, today on the 63 Ragtop Project, this is part four. We're just going to be cleaning up and restoring the headlights. All right, check it out. These are the headlights I'm going to be using on the 63 Ragtop Project. As you can see, they are the original ones. But, oh no, we have a little bit of a nick here from a piece of gravel. But they are really clean. That's not how they came. They came pretty rusty. And I'm going to go ahead and clean them up and show you how I take the rust off of these headlight buckets and keep them stock. So if this is something you're interested in, let's get started. Okay, all I'm doing here is I've taken the headlight apart. This is the worst one. I haven't taken it all the way apart, but I'm just going to scuff this up and put some of my rust remover product on there and see what happens. It's still 6 volt. Got the original Volkswagen lenses on them. So I'm just gonna clean them up and you know, clean them with some SOS and put them back on. I've taken some steel wool and just kind of scuffed up the rusty area. And this is the stuff that I'm using. I've had a lot of good luck on chassis and once on a set of wheels. So I'm just gonna squirt this on there and see if we can get some of this patina to disappear. So I put this stuff in the spray bottle, full strength. I haven't even diluted it. I'm just going to go ahead and coat this. And I'm going to let it do its trick. It's about a quarter to three in the afternoon. Let's see how this looks in a little while. All right, the passenger side wasn't so bad. So we did the same thing, scuffed it up a little bit. We're going to spray on some rust repellent and let it soak for a couple hours. All right, two hours later, look how these are doing. I just washed my hands, so I'm trying not to get any on me. They came out really nice. I'll admit, I did take a little bit of a scrub brush and just kind of scrubbed on the rust a little bit. And with a brush, anything that was in here, the bottom of my little tail, I've been just coming out here every once in a while and brushing a little bit on. Not that I really need to, but I don't want to. I don't want to repaint these, so I'm trying to make them, you know, look as nice as possible. And scrub the bulbs and the chrome. And I'm going to go ahead and put these back together a little bit later. Okay. So far, there we go. Here we are the next morning and take a look at these. All I did last night before I went to bed is I went and hosed these off and then set them back down here. And they say that all any bare metal will turn white and it'll protect it against future rust. I didn't even do the bottoms and they still come out that clean. And here is the light all assembled. Got a brand new six volt. Nope. Scratch that. I need to get a brand new six volt bulb to put in here because as I was starting to clean it, one of these just twisted loose, and I'm pretty sure I have those. Unfortunately, I forgot to put it in before I put the seal beam in, but I'm gonna go ahead and take care of that. A little mishap with one of the springs popping loose and hitting me in the eye, but I got fortunate and there was no injury. So you gotta be careful. Remember to wear your safety glasses. And then you just put it together. Maybe I'll show you how to do that. Let's see. All right, putting together is pretty simple. You know, you just line it up, you get the screws started for the adjusters. I feel if you put them all the way in, or as far down as it was before, you get pretty close. And that'll help it stop rattling while you're trying to put it back together. And the springs are kind of tricky 
And like I said, they will pop you in the face. So I have them through with a little bit of a screwdriver. Try and help guide them, guide their way in there so they don't pop back in your face. And then you put four or five of these things in there. I got these Some of these springs are stronger than the others, so I keep a pile of them right there and try whichever worked the best. They don't need to be super tight, you just need to have enough of them. Headlight goes back into place. Locator tab. Only go on one way, and you're back to put the springs on. Just to keep the frame from rattling. Place the black back clip. And you replace the bottom clip, and you're set to go. Nice. Okay, it's pretty hot out here, so I'm gonna wait just a little bit, maybe get a cold drink, and wait for the shade to come before I install the headlights and test them. So you can see I got shadows going on now, let's just forget it. Okay, here we go with the cleaned up headlights mounted on the 63 rag. That's all I need. Keep it stuck, clean it up, and there you have it. All right, hope you guys like this video on how to clean up VW Bug headlights. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and follow me on Instagram. Don't forget to uh, hit the notification bell so you can follow me along in this journey. Thanks for watching Filet TV.